I thought it'd be interesting to build a resistor cube and see if the theoretical resistance between the opposite corners matched with the practical measurements. This video is a collaboration with the Great Z Physics channel, and once you've watched my video where I look at the practical resistor cube, why not watch his video where he does a full derivation of the theoretical resistance. I decided to use 100 ohm resistors, but I thought I'd check that they were actually the value that they're labelled as. So using a multimeter as a resistance meter, I measured the resistance of each of the resistors. And you can see that they're not all exactly 100 ohms. So you can see there's a bit of variation between them. I won't bore you with showing you every single measurement, but I found that the average resistance of all the resistors, all, all 12 resistors, was 98.9 ohms. The next job was to assemble them into a cube shape and then solder each of the joints together. So the theory says that the total resistance between the opposite corners of the cube should be 5 sixths of R, which in my case should be 5 sixths of the 98.9 average resistance, which should give me 82.4 ohms. And what do I actually measure? After we've let the resistance meter settle down, it comes in at about 82.2 or 82.1 ohms. So very good agreement. My preferred way to solve the problem and prove that the total resistance between the opposite corners of the cube is 5 6 of R involves the symmetry arguments about how the current is shared between the different parts. And that symmetry argument says that the three resistors touching the crocodile clips where the current goes in and out should have a third of the total current and the other six resistors will end up with a sixth of the total current. So I thought it would be fun to see if that was shown by looking at the resistors with the infrared camera when we turn on the current. And it does clearly show the three resistors where the current goes in and the three resistors where the current goes out have a larger current and hence a larger power dissipated, so warm up much faster than the other six resistors. So now you've seen the resistor cube in action as a practical, why not check out the Z Physics video, which is linked from the end screen, so that you can understand the theory more fully.